I haven't made any jewelry in a while and I thought I would share with you um, how I make earrings and I have a wig jig that I purchased quite some time ago I believe I got it on Fire Mountain Gems and um, usually for the ear wires which I make to look something like this um, the wig jig comes with a plastic plate and has all the different holes in it and this one happens to be um, what they call the Centaur and you can buy it directly from wig jig too I believe and anyway it comes with a bunch of these little pegs and what you do is you um, pick the pegs that you want um, to use for your design and here for the ear wires um, what I use is um, 20 gauge sometimes I use half hard sometimes I use soft um, this time I have soft and I really don't have a lot left so um, of anything else so I'm going to use that and when you're using the soft wire it's easier to use for your jewelry making however it um, needs to be hardened once you're done which I'll show you how to do but anyway so what I do before I use anything like a you know precious wire like this um, I'll make a practice piece out of practice wire you know which is the same gauge so I did that before I started the video and I made a little practice piece so I'm going to set this right over here and part of what's good about making a practice piece is you can actually measure out exactly the amount of wire that you need and for this um, earring wire um, I needed one and three quarters so I'm just measuring that so I've got one and three quarters and then I'm going to cut another piece for the second earring and these are um, just jewelry wire snips and um, I believe I also bought them on Fire Mountain Gems. Not sure. But uh, I've had them for a really long time. So I'm just going to put this away. And I have my two wires right here. And I do use um, different jewelry pliers. Um, this one is specifically from Wig Jig. And I do like this a lot because it kind of gets into tight places. Um, but basically if if you don't have a lot of the supplies to make them um, I definitely start out with a round and some sort of wire cutter this is just extra um, but I have it so I use it I have a flat nose that I do use quite often and then I have one that's kind of like a hardener but I don't really use that a lot so anyway we'll get back to making the earring so what I start out with is you know you kind of see where the wire wants to go and what I do you know it, it has a curve so what I do is I go against it for this little loop and I start out making the little loop like I said I'm kind of going against the curve that the wire naturally wants to make and I just make a little loop and then I'm going to do the same thing for this one and it seems like it wants to go this way so I'm going to again make just a little loop and I'm just using the tip of my needle nose plier and trying to get them relatively even so this one's a touch bigger than this one so maybe I'll make this one just a tad bigger but you know part of the handmade 
um, look of jewelry and the um, preciousness of it is that it's not absolutely perfect and that's okay. So what I do is I put it on this well I had started and I put the um, little pegs in and depending on how big the circle you want you know the roundness you want for this you can use different sizes you can make it quite large um, you know and for different designs you can do different things and so I'm just gonna pull it around and it kind of naturally wants to go around and I'm kind of slipping it in here and pushing everything down and then let's see if you can see it and then what I'm going to do this is why I have this little peg I'm going to just pull it because I have a tendency to lose my earrings so this might hold it onto my ear a little better and I'm just going to lift it up and then there you have before it's hardened so I'm going to do while I have this all set up I'm going to do the second one and again you know I'm just trying to get it around and you try to get it as flat to the surface as you can and then I'm just kind of sliding it around the big peg and then sliding it all the way down as much as I can and then I'm just pulling this there so that was pretty easy and pretty quick and then what I do is I just set this aside and I don't want to mix up the practice piece so I'm going to set that away and then I want to see how close they are because I'm making a pair so I want to make sure they're pretty even and I think that this might be a little long so I'm going to just cut a little bit from the end and again measuring them together and just cut a little piece and if you do a lot of jewelry making you can save these little pieces and then uh, sell them at some point in time but anyway or use them for other things so I have the anvil and in order to harden the earrings um, I'm going to use a mallet and just kind of pound on the earring a little bit and that's just to harden it okay and I'll do the other one jewelry makers they have like just a little um, metal plate to use for this but I have this little anvil that I've had for quite some time so I do use it um, anyway so before you want to put them on your ears you don't want any sharp edges so I have this little kit from Fire Mountain Gems and they basically um, their cups they have little tiny cups 
and they kind of just soften the edges so that you're you're basically um, sanding off the rough edges and you kind of do that um, you do that till you don't feel any rough edges because you don't want to cut yourself when you're putting on your earrings and I just and this takes a little time but uh, it's getting softer and you could just use uh, jewelry files to do that but I really like the little cups that I use there and just do it for the other one and you just kind of um, roll it back and forth until you don't feel any rough edges and it just kind of sands it down now the other option is just to buy a pair of ear wires and you can find those in any jewelry making supply um, you can find I believe you can find silver ones in Michaels. Um, you can find a variety of different metals on uh, ready-made on Fire Mountain Gems, but I tend to prefer to make my own. I have a propensity for losing my um, earrings. So, a lot. So if I make my own earrings, I can just replace it and make another one. So I do that. But I'm finding that these are kind of still very soft. And I want to make sure I have it the right shape. So this one is good. I think I bent this one a little bit. out of shape so I'm just going to put it back into the wig jig and um, this is what where I find this comes in handy and then do that to get it back in shape and that's just telling me that I did not harden them enough so I need to go back and harden the wire because it, it, it's too soft so there's kind of a fine balance you don't want to harden it to the point where it's brittle and break but you don't want to leave it so soft that it doesn't hold its shape and that's why I tend to like the half hard wire better. I don't know why I got the soft but anyway that's what I had so that's what I'm using but there so that's how you make a set of ear wires and I'm going to move on to the next part of actually making them into earrings.